My name is Mike Todd, and I served with the 716th MP Battalion in the 101st Airborne. I um, was deployed to Iraq in April of two thir oh, 2003 and returned home in April of 2004. For the first six months of my deployment, I, I served as a driver for a security vehicle for my command sergeant major and my lieutenant colonel. And for the last six months, I served. I was put back in a line platoon with the 194th MP Company. I have some slides. This is a picture of me uh, at the Baghdad airport before the Saddam was torn off the building um, early on in the, in the, during the invasion. Um, can we go to the next slide, please? This is me in Babylon, um, er, again, early on in the deployment. Um, these are some ancient ruins, thousands of years old. Um, and, and this slide highlights the the lack of um, respect that we had for for the ancient culture and and for the culture in Iraq, um, and, and it really displays our insensitivity to to the people of Iraq. Can you go to the next slide, please. It's a picture of me with a donkey, <laughs> and we can go to the next slide. This is me in Baghdad, in one of Saddam's palaces in Baghdad, also in the airport, um, pointing to my American flag, thinking to myself, um, good job, and, and being very proud of, of my country at this point. This slide highlights the arrogance that I had at this point in my life. It displays the heightened sense of importance that I, that I felt and that many of my, many of my unit felt. And it also permissed us to be, to do harm to the Iraqi people and treat them as second class citizens. I have a few talking points here. I'm gonna highlight that sense of, uh, of importance and also um, <clears throat> the general attitude towards the Iraqi people and my unit and then I'm gonna go into some specifics. Like I said, I, I worked with my command sergeant major often, and, and he would provide mission briefs and after-action reviews for every mission that we, we were on. During many of these mission briefs, the language that was used, such as haji, which is in Arabic a term of endearment, the military has turned that into a disempowering tool, a disempowering word, and it is equatable to some very racist and derogatory remarks from minority populations in this country. Sergeant Major, in one specific mission brief, said to the nine-person team that Haji is an obstacle. Do not let him get in our way, meaning that if they drive in front of us, get them out of our way. Drive through them. This language that was used was common practice. I often hear it from still being used in many members in my old unit. It was used as a tool to degrade and dehumanize these people. It also permitted ourselves to separate ourselves. It gave us permission to separate ourselves from the people of Iraq, which served as a psychological protective factor should we be doing harm to those people. At one point in the deployment, when I was on a convoy just north of Baghdad, we pulled over to have an MRE refuel our trucks. And it was about a, a six-vehicle convoy. Oftentimes, the kids in the surrounding community would run up to us and, and say, thank you, thank you, and, and, and be very uh, welcome, welcome us with warm arms. Um, and we didn't want that kind of attention from the kids for fear of their safety, because we, were, we knew we were a targeted audience in that country. And this one incident, a kid was trying to cross a four-lane median highway and was struck by a vehicle going about 65. We, a number of us ran over there. I hopped in my truck and ran to, to stop traffic. A number of us, including my sergeant major, ran over there. And by the time he was walking back to his truck, which was about 30 seconds after he looked at the kid, said, he's gone, move out. And I wondered to myself, what would have happened if this was an American kid who was just struck? Um, Pre-deployment, the cultural competency 
training that we received can be best summed up in a sentence. Don't touch the people of Iraq's left hand. They wipe their ass with it. And that's what we got.